YouTube. Look what's here. The Terminator 1 premium format figure. It's here. The Sideshow Freaks thread has been going crazy over the last mm, about week and a half. People in the States and in the Canada getting theirs and now finally mine has made its way all the way to Hobart, Australia. Came this morning just before I had to start work. I've been hanging out all day to get it, to open it up, to do this rad unboxing which I'm about to do. I'm about to do it, I'm doing it. What am I saying? I'm doing it now. Before we do that, the feedback in the thread has been super positive. People saying this is the best Arnie likeness, this is the best Terminator collectible bar none. I am glad that I went for the exclusive on this piece because I haven't gone for an exclusive before. I've either been too late to, to grab the exclusive or not really interested in the exclusives. For example, the exclusive for the first T2 PF, the one from a couple of years ago, it was a quarter scale endo arm. I don't want that. I want some battle damage. I want an alternate profile. I want something cool like that, you know? So, other X's haven't been really blowing my skirt up, so I haven't seen the point. I've been buying the cheaper option. When they went with the battle damage head, they revealed it at Comic Con last year. You had to have it. You gotta have that X. And, um, you know, I've grabbed a couple of X's for upcoming PF's as well. Let's get into it. Okay, here's the box cool box okay you can make out Arnie there this is artwork photography of the of the figure cool sort of a little bit of a Cyberdyne logo on the side there and then some Terminator Vision artwork on the back I like it I, I'll give you a shot of this this bit here let me pick you up. Here's some side artwork. This looks like maybe a maybe some concept artwork from the sculptor. I'm not sure. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. We'll run the scissors around the side. Let's unbox. All right, I have not got this guy out yet, so let's see what we're dealing with. Pipes, mechanical sort of base here, and looks like, must be the lino from the police station. Lots of bullet casings there scattered around from whatever that gun is that Arnie has. I don't know guns. There's the gun in question. Is that the UC 9mm? I don't know. That's looking good. We'll put that over there. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm freaking out. I've got the X man. There's two heads there. Those who don't get who get the X all the time have never got a rig. These little extra spots here, they're empty. This is the first time this is full for me. I'm freaking out. Okay, we'll leave that there. Let's get the body out. Okay. The body is on. You can see the pattern they've actually managed to get on Arnie's t-shirt underneath there, which is a really nice bit of attention to detail. Jacket's got a little bit of um, a little bit of polyester marks on the back there, but that'll be easy enough to come. It just comes off with a bit of bit of spit and polish. You can see them on there. A couple of guys have posted about them. They'll come off. That's just from the shipping. Look at Arnie's buns. 
Look, he was a seven-time Mr. Olympia, okay? So he had pretty well-sculpted buns. Those pants are tight, though. All right, let's get the rest of him out. Fuck you, asshole. And as he is in this scene, the police station shootout with his gargoyles glasses on, let's try these out. A word on the sculpt first. Let's look at that. I mean, I'm shooting him there from the neck up, and there's no mistake who that is. That is Arnie dead on. He's twisting his neck round, looking behind him. It's sort of that part in the shootout where you know the detective and the the whoever the guy is the Lance Henriksen sort of catches his attention and he turns back around and blows him away so he's sort of gone what boom blam so he's got a bit of a twist in the neck that's good sculpt is amazing spiky hair which Arno has in this scene placed a magnet in there this is standard operating procedure for the PF all right it's in look at that do ding do 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 fantastic no uh, limp gun barrel that some boys are complaining about Forgive the baby stuff in the background. Um, I've just, we've got a, um, a little four months old baby. She's in a couple of my videos. You can check her out. Anyway, let me zoom in on that. Look at him. I can't believe it. Any liver spots on there, which some dudes were talking about? I can't spot any. He is amazing. A bold pose. Bold pose for this PF. Guys, reaching right out with one arm. Front foot stepping right out as well. Really great. Shotgun resting on his shoulder there. Amazing. Let's get the other head out. Here is the X head. Battle damage on the eye there. Nice detail in there. And pretty much the same. Otherwise, got the five o'clock shadow going on. Same hair, same fantastic sculpt. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Look at that on there. Look, his glasses don't really come off in that scene, but we can imagine that they did. And this is what he would have looked like. Let's have a look at the jacket up close. Zip is all legit there. Buttons, the little loopholes there. They are all metal. Lots of grime on the pants. Going down to the boots. The boots are fully sculpted. You can see my other guys. Well, some of my other guys waiting over there. I'm moving house. We've got everything in storage almost, so... These are the few guys that I have out. Oh, there's Jason at the top. Wow. Should we have a look around the back? Same attention to detail around here. 
legit zippers on on his arm there gun all fully pimped down proper strap there and buckle and down past those Olympia winning buttocks grimy pants down to this back leg and down to that base the back leg perched up a little bit and he's turned around he's pivoted and the foot peg a double foot peg on this one so I'm guessing he's pretty solid there's another profile there Gee, he just looks fantastic from almost any from every angle amazing Excuse all that crap in the background, wow. That's better. Well, SciShow Collectibles and the sculptor, Trevor Grove. <whistles> can he sculpt Arnie? Can he sculpt? Yes, he can. That is amazing and I don't know. T2 Arnie, let's, let's see what he thinks. Yeah, he's nonplussed. Fantastic sideshow. Great, really happy with it. And guys on the board, all the other freaks in the thread. I'll see you around. I'll see you when the next awesome PF comes around. We've got Dutch PF coming up later. Uh, the Joker PF. I've got... That's all my pre-orders for the moment. I'm only quarter scale. I don't do one six. Um, if I did, mm, I would be a homeless bum living under a pile of hot toys boxes and that's why I don't. I can pay these off with the flex pay. No problem. Wow. I'm gonna have to go, but I'm gonna be updating my old collection videos with this new camera that I've got. It's a new Sony HD Handycam. My previous ones were done on iPhone 4. That's pretty lame. So I'm going to be updating them and I'm working on a new 1.6 scale figure video, movie. Uh, look out for that. Subscribe to the channel and share the YouTube collecting love. Thanks guys.